So this week's responding to your comments is all about athletes. For Tanya T777 asks, Hi Abraham, can you please do a video on how to get rid of athlete's foot? I've tried everything. Well, what are we waiting for? Hit that like button if you're fired up for this video and let's begin. Okay, so diving straight into tip number one, you need to use one of these bad boys. I know it sounds bizarre using a hairdryer on your feet, but believe me, the fungus that causes the athlete's foot, it loves dark and damp places, and this is gonna be a game changer. So now that we know what environment fungus like, our feet are the perfect environment for it. Think about it, you go swimming, you go for a shower, they're wet, the fungus loves it. So we're gonna use the hairdryer on the feet. Make sure you dry them nicely whenever they get wet. Get in between those toes, but make sure you don't burn yourself either. Now moving on to tip number two, let your feet breathe. Remember, we're trying to avoid that damp, moist environment, and here's what you're gonna do. So firstly, you're gonna wear cotton or silk socks, okay? They're gonna help your feet breathe, and you're gonna avoid synthetic socks because they're the worst for letting them breathe, okay? Secondly, you're gonna wear a fresh pair of socks every single day. If you have excessively sweaty feet, feel free to change them during the day as well with a fresh pair, twice a day, three times a day, however many times you need. Moving on to tip number three, you need to change your footwear. Do not wear the same shoes every day to work. Don't wear the same shoes every day to the gym. You need to rotate with a fresh pair every single day. So take me for example, I have three pairs of work shoes, I have three running shoes and gym shoes that I wear at the gym. I rotate them every single day, okay? Reason being is it takes 24 to 48 hours for your shoes to dry out, okay? And the whole purpose of this is that we're trying to avoid that moisture, we're trying to avoid that dampness. Also, please remember, don't wear them too tight either because you need the feet to breathe. So moving on to tip number four, so now that we know the lifestyle changes, it's time to move on to the big guns, the antifungal creams or sprays to get rid of your athlete's foot once and for all. Now, some of the most common antifungals include sabinafin, meconazole, and clotrimazole, but please do make sure you speak to your pharmacist or healthcare professional first to make sure you are safe and suitable to use it. And please do remember, how you use these products can make a massive difference on how effective they are. So follow the instructions, but most importantly, make sure you obviously apply it to the athlete's foot area, but make sure it's clean and dry. That is one of the most important things to get the most out of it. And here's my pro tip for you when using these treatments. Once it's all cleared, continue using it for at least two weeks to prevent the fungal infection from coming back again. Now it's also worth noting that some antifungal creams are a combination product, so sometimes they contain a steroid in there as well, like hydrocortisone for example. This can be particularly useful if your athlete's foot is really red and inflamed, it can help calm that down as well. Again, you need to speak to your healthcare professional about these. And here's another pro tip because I like you guys so much, so when you've got your beautiful feet, when you've got rid of the athlete's foot, please remember you need to whack these bad boys on. Whenever you are barefoot, whack them on to make sure your feet are protected and make sure you're not spreading it to other people either. Also remember, continue the lifestyle tips that I've discussed in this video. That's super important. So I really hope you found this information helpful, but please remember there are times when you should seek medical attention for athlete's foot. I'm going to leave a really good list in the description below. Make sure you read it. As I always say, Always remember you're awesome and I will see you next week.